Hey guys, and welcome back for another episode in our Eater Imperium series. Uh, today, uh, it's going to be a shorter episode due to time constraints, but I did want to record something to keep the flow going at least. So let's quickly recap what we did last episode. We recruited our centaur, who was a lot of fun on the battlefield. He's not only super fast, but he also has a very strong melee attack and ranged attack. He's slightly vulnerable in the ways that he doesn't have much defense. Because otherwise, the unit would be completely overpowered, of course, for that kind of level. So, of course, that's something has to offset it. But we had a lot of fun. We gained another command level. So that means that uh, we're able to recruit a monk. It's something that we started building towards. Because the healer is just so... It's more of a nuisance, to be honest. Because he only has one range for his heals. And the monk has range 4. So that is definitely something that is going to improve our overall army. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the healer. I think I might. I have a rank 1 spot available for a unit. So that's very likely going to be another legionary. So we have 4. At some point that will have a discipline synergy going. Because right now these two guys do not have discipline yet. The centurion does. Uh, just a refresher on the discipline. Uh, let's see what's that. So discipline means that the unit gains one to its defense, range defense, and resistance values when fighting next to another friendly unit with the same ability, and that can stack up to three times. So that is really nice, because then they get really nice and tanky. That's basically the purpose of these units in our army. Uh, we have a nice magic dealer. We, have, we still have a crossbow guy, and we have that flanking centaur who's just rushing over the battlefield. It was a lot of fun. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is we're going to run the hero back to the stronghold. Uh, we gave him fair wind at the end of the last episode, so he should be there in one turn. The sorceress is just lugging away. She's still only level 3 and uh, has a very small army, so we're kind of working on that. Uh, for the rest, gold income plus 138. And uh, yeah, we're just doing pretty overall, we're doing pretty great. I think we could still actually build something, so I'm going to double check on that. Let me first turn this on again. Let's focus on the provinces that generate the most gold. Yeah, let's see. Yes, we can actually build something, so we're going to demolish the pub again. Because we're in the process of replacing all the pubs with the arena. It not only increases the gold, but it also... Um, Makes the people overall happy. And I think there's also probably adding to that gold again. So it's kind of like a circle. You make them happier, they generate more gold. And it's, uh, it's, I think it's definitely progress for us. So we'll do this one and this one. I think we already did this one. Mm, yep. All right. So let's get this going. Send explored. Hopefully we'll get that to 100 so she can move on. Uh, she didn't explore find anything but she explored six percent nice it puts us at 92 okay all right let's start first of all repairing him uh, this is actually an upgrade let's get that let's do that this might be a nice one for her okay i don't think we have anything queued Let's have a look here. Yeah, I'm actually gonna kill two birds with one stone because I wanna get her some gear options from the tailor store because that's the gear that she's gonna be looking for. So we can actually construct this. Then go to the next tier. And at the end of it all, we'll end up here where he can buy his cloak if that is really worth buying. To be, on I, to be honest, I don't know. It, it hardly adds anything. But we'll just add this to her, not to this stronghold Q, and then we go to level 4, and we need a trader's guild, we'll put that here, and then we put this one here, okay, that keeps us busy there, so his gear is repaired, let's start recruiting, uh, our monk, and then we can have a level 1, if we had the gold, we'll just wait a turn. Okay. Yep, that's fine. A ruined tower. 
three minotaurs. Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be too tough for her. It would be doable for the scouts army, but uh, for her it's just too tough. Not enough. I should be able to recruit. Yeah, I'm just thinking. It stacks three times. We have three tanks. We really, very likely want some damage dealers though, but... Um, okay. Any future slot will really go to a damage dealer. And I very likely will remove him at some point, I think. Problem is, he can only be replaced with a level 1, so do we really want to have a crossbow guy with no range? And I think they at level 10 or 11 they get an, another plus 1 range, but still overall it's, it's not a lot of damage that, that he's putting out. Okay, uh, spells. Anything that we can do in there? Nope. Everything's fine. Perfect. Let's think here. 77, 59. I want to grab this one. To kind of lock him down. Uh, I haven't seen the hero yet, but I don't know what to expect really. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to. We're going to run over there. Okay. Ritual. Anything interesting that we can do? We can cast that mass insanity. <laughs> Healing. Well, we can do that, it's just... Plus 10 gold, okay, so she's still exploring here. Okay, let's go. So he's there. What are we dealing with? Oh, 15 enemies. All kinda... Easy, but it's 15 of them, so we kinda have to be careful with this. Alright, let's attack. It's probably going to take a while to do this fight, because they're all going to... 15 units all have to walk and... <laughs> okay, our new friend the monk. Centaur on the flank. Might as well put him here. Okay, so we have these guys. They have no synergy yet, so that is fine. It's not something to be concerned about. Let's see what kind of hills we want to use. Okay, we're going to run him up here. The sorcerer up here, the hero, we can run up here, I think we're going to keep the healer because if it's low range, a low range next to him, and the monk is more going to move forward, because he can kind of stay in the back and still have four rings on his heels, so he can actually heal up the, the tanky ones, the beefy ones, okay, let's see, yeah, that's a boatload of them, uh, we don't need this, uh, well, my AoE should be hopefully doing some damage. Let's see how many we can hit here. Yeah, it's not... Hmm. Okay, can't reach that. But he can... He can walk and cast, I think, right? So let's try this again. And now I get the ones in the back. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, it's some damage, so that's good. Okay, he is already on the hill, but we're gonna now we're gonna keep him here. Cast vulnerability on. This guy. Okay, and let's move on up. Okay. Well, he can flank, but... Oh, did I really move him on the hill? Ah, oh, my bad. Okay, we'll just wait with him. Okay, this is going to take 5 minutes for him to move 515 units. Where's the guy that is vulnerable? He's right there. 
spamming, spamming, spamming. Let's just kill one. Sorcerer. Just make somebody vulnerable. Okay, so the range on this side is crossbow guy, two slingers, crossbow guy, slinger, and bowman. Um, he can cast inspiration, but there's really not much point. Let's see here. Well, he's gonna he's in a nice spot, so that is fine. Mm, do we want to move him forward? No, not really. Now we're gonna wait with him, monk. Okay. He can get to that bowman and one shot him, and then go for the slinger and the other crossbow guy in the back. Yeah, this is yeah, this is good. These guys are moving forward, so he can literally attack through that side. But do we want to give him haste? Can he? He needs haste. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay. Oh, because of the hilt, he can't reach it. Bummer. Um, that's fine. Oh, you can actually can reach it because of his range. Nice. Okay, that's one. Not much the monk can do right now. Crossbow guy, how much damage do you do on these guys? Even with vulnerability, he does hardly any damage. Uh, one to four. Okay, well. Okay, we're gonna leave him there. We're gonna beef him up with the raised shield, so it goes from 342 to 592. Because they have no magic, so that's perfect for these guys. Okay, can I run him? Okay, we're gonna move him up. But he's gonna eat some damage from these two guys. Three guys. Okay, so he's fine then. I'm gonna move him here. And shield him up. We're gonna shield him up. Uh, how much damage do he, does he do? It's not bad actually. Okay, the arrow did his job. Crossbow guy, nothing else to do. Okay. It's a lot of, it's a level 11 crossbow, man. It's uh, a lot of damage. It just takes forever to get into level 11. And he actually has range 6 on the hill, so that, yes, that means that around level 10 or 11, he gets that plus 1 range. It just takes forever to get into a rank 11. Okay. Oh, it's still, uh, he's still moving. Okay. Um, ooh, would be nice if you could sell on that hill. Also a rank 11. Okay. Considering if I should heal him, I probably should heal him with the healer. Actually, um, with the scout. Word of life gives him plus five. Okay, let's go. Can we come from that angle? Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Let's keep shooting at this guy. These guys are just. They don't have a lot of help, but they're quite tanky. 
Uh, we don't have to worry about magic damage, so that is absolutely perfect. Uh, he should be able to kill him. If he kills him now with a shield, it probably costs him four, five stamina. Mm. Yeah, I wonder if he counter attacks, if that also eats his stamina away. Because I'm just going to wait for him to do damage then. So my mage can do some damage here. That was close. Okay. Alright. Well, I can remove his shield and hit him. Let's do that then. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, we have four smarts, okay. Wow. That was really close. So the hero has to heal him up now. There's no doubt about it. But he's not in range. Uh huh. Well, he has five heal. What is the range on his heal? Eight. And he is very likely a ten or something. Um, yeah. Well, I can always move the hero and then check this out. Perfect. Okay. Now, if I run here and kill this guy from this angle... Then we should be perfectly fine, right? Crossbow guy? Are you able to reach him? Perfect. Now, this is a little wall here, so that's... It's gonna be okay. Besides, we have a monk here. Let's do some damage. Let's move him up. And there's a shield on. Almost forgot about that. No, he's fine. What about this guy? 6 to 11. Okay. Time to heal. He's gonna do. Oh. Yeah, they're quite tanky. They're not level six yet, so they don't have that uh, discipline synergy yet. Which is going to be hilarious. Uh, he can heal himself. He can. Oh, he doesn't have any cast anymore. Who do you want to hit? Uh, see, it's it's kind of difficult to see because I don't know how to. Because he keeps looking at ranged right now. He doesn't show me what he does in melee attack. You would have to run there, and maybe there's a key I can hold. Um. Okay, so monk can heal. And see, that's why we love the monk. I mean, he's not so dependent on that one range. All right, hero. Just kill him. Yes, stamina one. We're gonna rest. Uh, your stamina 2. I think it has 7. Uh, so they eat stamina when they have that raised shield, which makes sense. Makes sense to me. Um, your stamina 10. What kind of damage do we do here? That's not a lot. 
crossbow guy. One, two, four, two, three. Okay, so what does he add? Stamina seven. He has a shield up. So if I attack. Mm, that's fine. Stamina one, he's resting. Oh, let's move. And I thought he would actually make it that far. So he's gonna be out of stamina. Okay. Alright. Hero. What can he kill him? No, he can't kill him. But. I just wonder if. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, let's shoot with the hero. Perfectly fine. Heal the sorcerer. Even though the sorcerer can't do anything this turn anymore, but. Uh, shoot at him. How much stamina do you have? Get rid of the shields. Okay. We have him. Okay. We have a monk. Okay. Zero stamina, I can do anything. Twelve stamina. What kind of damage are we looking at? Yeah, that's not much. Okay. Still worth it. I mean, I think, yeah, you hit him for one. Okay. Saucer can't do anything. Uh, you can sneak past here. Yeah, that this is. What does he add? Okay. It's fine. Who do we want to level? We want to level Legionnaires, of course. Okay. Uh, anything we need to heal real quick? Yes. Let's heal him up. He lost a lot of health, so... Does he still have a heal? No. Does he still have a heal? He does. He has two movement. Can he move? Did I move with him or? Huh. Okay. Well, let's just finish it off. Okay, took a little while. It's uh, 15 enemy units. 340 gold. Look at the root level, level 17, 14. Yeah, that's. I think we had had this crossbow guy for a long, long time, and he's level 5. So also we're level four. Okay, so we can do range attack plus one or defense plus one. Mm -hmm. Now defense you shouldn't need. Oh, Centaur is leveling nicely. Resistance, defense. Resistance. Um, increases attack and counter attack by two. Armor and resistance by whoa. Upkeep by ten. But that is massive. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Legionary level two. Hit points. Okay. Well, that was a, a good fight. Uh, she's running into some adventures. Okay. It's three of them. Let's talk. See if we can get half the loot. Nice. Huh? That looks really nice. I, I wonder if the attack and counter attack are also for the whole party or if it's. Huh. Okay. That's not bad at all. Six hundred and seventy four gold, so we can start building this up. Uh Let's make these guys happy right away. Right now they are, I think, discontent. There we go. Immediately the gold uh, went up in that province. I think we're still going. We're still lost a little bit. Oh no. Even with that, uh, that reward, that metal that we gave the centaur. That's really nice. Do we need healing? Ah, he's a little bit low, but that's fine. Um, yeah, this is, this is great. 
Anything interesting? Winged creatures. Okay. Let's uh let's check his gear. Yep. Let's try those winged creatures. I don't know what to expect there. I'm not sure if this is something that we can actually do. I wonder if it's gargoyles or imps or fairies. I'm not sure what to expect there. What is this province at? 97. Perfect. Okay. Well. Oh, okay. Harpy. Okay. Oh, let's see that. I don't think we have seen him in this series, so I will quickly do a tooltip hover. Uh, yeah, this is fine, 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 fine. Yeah, this is perfect for us. Also hills. All right. Um, well, they can float, so they are not going to be having any stamina issues when they move, but they will have stamina issues when they start casting. Uh, this will lower their health a little bit by three total. Let's do this. I'm not sure how much stamina these guys have. Ah, this is perfect. Okay, so what can they do? They have four movement. They're flying, which means that they won't be stopped by the terrain. And they can steal ammo. When attacking enemy melee, the unit decreases the target's ammunition reserve by three. Okay. Well, we are trying to keep them away from our casters anyway, so, and our archers. But they have four movement. Nice. Okay. Uh, how much defense do these guys have? Three. So I can do my AOE. It's not going to do much, is it? But hey, it's a lot of fun. That's fine. Okay, that did some decent damage, actually. Uh, four. So it's going to be there. Okay, we're going to move him up here. Ah, too bad I can't. Can he actually, how much? Oh, man. I thought he was going to be able to get on there. No, he doesn't. Okay. Okay. This is fine. Move him up. Move him up. Okay. Now he cannot really run over the hill. Where's she, where's she able to go? Okay. So if I move him here. We actually need a little heal. Okay. Alright. I don't know if he can... Uh, nah, not, I don't think he can one-shot her. Uh, if he can sneak behind... This would be five, I think. Okay. Uh, this is tricky. That's so fast. Let's see here. How much damage is he going to do? Three to six. Okay. So... Let's get... Hold down a little bit. Can we do some damage here? So we can hit her, but not. That's kind of strange, I think. No. Okay, let's first move up here. Okay, now it shows. 8 to 13, 7 to 12. So we're going to hit her. Sorcerer will kill, but we have to be careful because these. Three, four can reach him. Okay, somebody else needs to die. Let's see. Can he possibly? No, he's not going to do enough damage. Mm. There's no point in blocking them because they fly right over you. Okay, so he will kill her. I'm going to do that. So we're going to move him. Him up. Yellow should be fine. It is one. Well, I can move him here actually. Okay, so we've got the monk. That's not really. The monk can do some damage, but it's not much. <laughs> um, yeah, and he's also going to be in range. Of, um, it's probably best to move him back. I don't like doing it, but he is in range. I mean, they, 
They have four movements, so these three can literally possibly kill him or him. But I don't think there's much we could, could do against that either way. Unless we rush him here and he can one-shot one. Yeah, that's so difficult. How much damage is... Okay, let's first move here. How much damage would he do? Four, 7 to 14. So there is a chance that he would actually kill... No, he's only 3 movement, but he should be able to still attack. And he do 7 and 12 with range. Okay, so he should be... Tough, tough. He keeps looking for that. If I move three, I should be able to still hit. Because he's not going to kill this one either way. And, uh, well, he might. That's the whole thing. So now he might kill. I'm just going to move him and I kind of have to. Okay, so can he kill? I'm not going to do it that way. Okay. Well, he opens himself up, kind of melee. Yeah, they have a lot of melee attack, though. So, um... Let's look that way, I guess. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's see what happens. Okay, they're gonna go for him. So, yeah, they could potentially kill him. Okay. I don't know if she had the range. A little bit laggy. Wow. Uh, first we're going to heal up. Healer. The monk. Who needs healing here? Okay. So we use him. Now we should be able to do that with him. Okay. Because I want to try... How much damage did he actually do there? It didn't look like a lot. 2 to 5. Because he... He's not able to get there. Uh-huh. He moved. He is... I don't think he... Might as well try it. Can he? How much damage does he? Okay, he will kill. Okay. That means that my hero, hero can actually use, be used to heal. Okay. So. He will kill. And then we use him to kill here. Because I want to give him some health so we don't have to sit around waiting for two turns before we can engage up in battle again. Okay. 213 gold. We gain a new level, health, which is great. Command would have been better, but it, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, reaction 5. Pathfinding, looting. Mm. Uh, speed resistance. Wow. Yeah, let's do that. Centurion level 4, range defense or morale, range defense, the legionary level 5. So he's almost there. Morale or stamina, morale. You know, this is the second medal for him already. Increases defense by 2 and counter attack by 1. I mean, this, this unit is just crazy strong now. Well, that's another gold and a nice ring. Nice. So we have some really good battles. Uh, she actually found a tower. Five. Uh, these are these are all going to be magic casters, and uh, I'm not going to do that. Reason being that uh, we have the crossbow guy that's putting damage out, and we have the sorcerer in our army that's putting damage out. The rest is tanky melee with hardly any magic resist. And these is five shaman sorcerer. I think we would already have an issue with three of them, to be honest, because this is just five. It's just going to be painful. Okay. Okay, we can construct this. And actually, I realized that uh, I have to leave it here. 
So I uh, thank you again for listening to my usual rambling. Hopefully I'll catch you next time with a normal length episode. This one is a little bit shorter. I apologize, but I did want to upload something. So I hope you guys have a nice day and uh, thank you again. Bye-bye.